Hi guys. Another day, another another vlog. Oh, God knows what. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's a mama staff rocks here with little Autumn. Nathan's over there eating his food. So uh, today, uh, yesterday I kind of touched on um, the fact that I'm doing this because of my uh, social worker, who's pretty much my therapist, um, was suggesting the journaling, and I don't really, <laughs> I don't really have the hands, because I'm always using my non-dominant hand to hold this phone, but I, I never have a free, that free dominant hand to write. And I find talking out loud is a lot better for me to vent things. So, yeah, so to talk about things that are working. And it's, it's also kind of logging for myself as well. It's connecting me with other people, hopefully. And also, um, it's logging the good days for me to show me that I can reflect on it and think, oh, I actually had more good days than bad than I thought. And shows me my progress with um, my medication and that and what's working for me for depression and anxiety but also what's working for me as a mom and my kids so um today i'm also going to talk about but it's it was something she suggested for my anxiety and depression but mostly for my stress as a mom because as a mom you don't really have or as a parent in general you don't so you don't really have much time for yourself and that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to switch gears from anxiety and depression to mostly stress as a parent. And parenting is a beautiful thing. It is. But uh, it does obviously get stressful. And you often could feel like you have no time for yourself. And like you didn't get anything done that you wanted to get done. It's all been housework and getting your kids ready and... That sounds a little selfish to some people, I guess, but it, it's... I know, baby. It sounds a little selfish, but it's it's honest... It, it's not. It's You need time for yourself and to feel like you're doing things for you, too, because you can get so caught up in caring for everyone else that you forget about yourself. So, the thing that she suggested was to take at least an hour for yourself. And my sister even told me the same thing. Like, take, take the time to get your hair done and get a shower and all that. But I kept thinking, like, it's not just self-care in the way of, like, getting a shower and all that. Like, today I was able to do my makeup and my hair a little bit and that made me feel a whole lot better about starting the day because my day started out I woke up and I had no energy unlike yesterday where I had a burst of energy in the morning but this time as it changes day to day today I woke up and I had no energy I felt like I felt like I couldn't get out of bed but obviously because of my kitties <laughs> I was up I had to get up been at it, but it took me a lot longer than it usually does. That doesn't happen very often, like depression-wise, where you feel like you just don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to go do things, you're worried about the day. But um, my kids really saved me in that in that instant, like where with my depression, anxiety, they they uh, inspire me to get up every day and get things done and do things for them and stuff so it, they really they're really my lifesaver but uh as i was saying about getting things done for yourself taking sometimes you don't you can't get an hour like i can't get an hour with my boyfriend going to work going to school and everything know, that baby? With, with him going to work and everything you might not get an hour but even taking a couple minutes every so often, like when the kids are playing, like I put my my daughter in the jumper and or when she's sleeping and I can put her down and my son's playing with herself, like we can you can get some things done. Like anything really. It could be 
putting makeup on or doing your hair, reading a few chapters of a book you wanted to read, or checking through Facebook or Instagram, or playing a game on your phone, playing a game on your devices, watching a couple episodes of a show, anything really. Anything to make you feel happy, because to, at least to me, it makes, it made the biggest difference. And I didn't really think doing something like that would change anything. I thought that's just going to make me stressed because I'm not going to, I'm wasting time that I could be using to get other things done in the house. But when I was, people kept encouraging me to do it, it really, it really does make the difference. Because it, I found it gave me kind of a burst of energy, at least in my, in, in my, like, experience of it. Doing something for myself made me feel better and makes me feel happier and makes me feel like I can get things going. Like, I got something done that I wanted to get done. And it's not that I, I'm not happy when I don't get it done, but it, it does make me feel better at the end of the day. Because when I'm able to do myself up, like get my clothes on, my makeup done, my hair done, I don't feel like my anxiety is not as bad where I'm thinking people are judging me. Oh my god, I'm, I look like a mess and I'm with my kids and they're thinking I'm a horrible mother because I look like a piece of crap and all that. So it, it helps in my anxiety as well as my stress level. So it's it's something very simple that probably a lot of people already know about, but I wanted to talk about it because me saying it out loud validates it for me that it's working and it is. It I and like I said, I didn't think it would something that simple and something that takes up time of the day, but just those few minutes to get myself going is great it's <laughs> but yeah yeah that's oh. my son's kicking the table I have my phone on right now um in another vlog I probably will talk more about breastfeeding because it's something I'm doing and it's something that I tried with my son that I didn't succeed with and that's people have to understand that's okay so, my next vlog I hope to, I'm planning on talking about breastfeeding and my experience and my experience where it didn't work and my experience where it so far is working and what we do and how we find time and everything. And hopefully I can help some people because I know I wanted, I, I craved to talk to other people who, breast, who were breastfeeding because I wanted to know that it was okay and that feeding in public wasn't as nightmarish as the internet makes it out to be. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Hopefully my next vlog tomorrow is get it out about how I, my experience with breastfeeding and how I've been. But yeah, in a conclusion <laughs> for this vlog, it's very rushed and everything. Um, Take some time for yourself, and if even if you can't get a day where someone can babysit the kids and go out on your own, like just little things around the house that you can do for yourself. Read, like I said, read a couple chapters, do a game. Like I know I I play uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, as you can see behind me, my little Eevee. Well, it's actually my daughter's Eevee from her uh, from her Auntie Blair. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Blair. Uncle Angus. Yeah, um, I play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee at nighttime for about an hour after the kids go to sleep. And it makes me feel better, and it actually so far has helped with my nightmares because I find I have not, I don't think it's a real diagnosis, but chronic nightmares like every single night. Besides the last couple days, I've had 
horrible, vivid nightmares. And since I've been playing Let's Go Eevee before I went to bed, I was having a horrible sleep. And though my sleep isn't much any better because I'm breastfeeding, it's I haven't had as many vivid nightmares since I started playing it. So even those little things that you can do like when your kids are asleep and all that, it, it really helps. And I hope, I know a lot of people probably do it already, but I hope, I hope this gets to somebody who realizes it's okay. I hope they realize from my video that it's okay to take that time for yourself. It's okay to do something you want to do and put yourself in your own little world for at least a couple minutes because it will help. At least it did for me. So, yeah. Mama Star Fox out. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.